and get started. And we'll start with just a seated meditation, just kind of our usual deal. Quick and dirty. Coming into a seat, you can sit on your block or not. And just go ahead and close your eyes. Get this volume up. Go ahead and close your eyes. And let your body just begin to relax into this shape. You can start to roll your shoulders out. You can start to gently move your head side to side or just starting to roll the head out. Just checking in with how your neck feels, how your shoulders feel. And then when you feel like you've kind of gotten some of those kinks out, re-stack the head over the shoulders, let the shoulder blades drop down together. And then for a moment, bring your palms up to the ceiling. Hands are still resting on the legs, but palms are up. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Deep breath out through the mouth. Deep breath in through the nose. Deep breath out from the mouth. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. And then take a few more of those breaths on your own. Breathing in, breathing out. And if Ujjayi practice is in, if Ujjayi breath is in your practice, go ahead and close the mouth and strip the that you're just breathing through your nose, starting to create those dark vader sounds in your throat. And just notice what comes up. Maybe it's noticing your physical body and how, how it feels. Where is it sore? Where is it open? Sometimes the first thing that comes to mind is where our thoughts are. Are they scattered all over the place, or are they kind of focused and settled? And then noticing the breath, and we are taking an intentional breath right now, but notice how it's sitting in the body. Do you feel the inhales? Do you feel the exhales? And maybe you set an intention for your practice today. Knowing that we will be focused on physically balancing on our feet. Maybe there's some kind of intention around balance in your life right now. Balance between effort, balance between rest. When you're ready to slowly open the eyes. And we'll start to just move the body. So if you are on a block, take that block out of the way. Come to hands and knees and we'll start just circling the body. This isn't a yoga pose per se, but it's just a nice way to move and then take it the other direction. It doesn't need to look pretty. And then we'll come back to our neutral tabletop. Stretch the right leg back. Your toes are on the ground. You're really tucking the toes and pushing through the heel. And then take the left arm forward, palm faces in. And just pause here. Feel the stretch in the back of the right leg. Feel the stretch in the left arm. Start to draw the belly in towards the spine. And then lift that right leg. We'll start to bend into that right knee. Flip the left palm to face away and sweep that left arm up and back. You might just stay here and kind of hang out. Leg up, arm back. You may reach around to the outside of the left ankle with the right hand. Excuse me, the right ankle with the left hand and lift that leg. Take one more breath here. And then gently come back to a balance. This time point through the right toes, reach through the right fingers. We'll exhale, pull the elbow and knee towards each other. Pause here. This is our first kind of balance. Take an inhale, stretch it long. One more time. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, stretch it long. Take all four limbs down. 
Tuck the toes, lift the knees just an inch off the mat, and then bring the hips up. You're in a short version of down dog. Start to take the weight to the heels, maybe the heels fall all the way to the mat. Deep breath in, deep breath out. From here, walk the hands to the feet, and don't worry, I didn't forget about the second side. We'll get there. Inhale, half lift, hands on shins. Exhale, forward fold. One more, inhale, half lift, really push the shins, lengthen out. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, let everything hang, slowly roll up. Vertebrae by vertebrae, coming all the way to stand. Mountain pose, tag out, so reach up, look up. Exhale, fold right back over the legs. Bend the knees, walk yourself out to that tabletop. And this time, cat cow, lift up the toes, draw the belly down, lift the heart, inhale. Exhale, draw the belly up, draw the back up, tuck the chin. One more time, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Come to that neutral table, stretch the left toes back. Again, they're tucked on the mat. Push through the heel, feel the engagement, the length in the leg. And then right arm reaches forward. Pause here for a moment. And then lift the left leg. Bend the left knee, flip the right palm to face away from the body, and reach up and back. Remember, you can stay here. You do not have to grab the leg with the hand, but you could. Take one more breath. And then come on back around. Find a balance. Come through the left toes. Reach to the right fingers. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. One more time. Exhale, elbow to knee. Pause. Find the balance. Inhale, extend. Bring all of the limbs back to the mat. Tuck the toes, lift the knees and hips. This time, find your normal whip down dog. Hands and feet are wide apart. Maybe you start to pedal through the knees, bending the right, bending the left. And then start to just crawl this thigh up to the front of the mat so your feet gradually find your hands. When you get all the way to the top, grab your yoga strap or your scarf, whatever you're using. Take it behind the back, between the hands. Drop the head. Shake it yes, shake it no. Bend the knees, inhale, chair pose. Hands are back, chest is drop. Exhale, fold it forward. One more time, inhale, chair pose. Opening the chest. Exhale, forward fold. Going right into a first standing bounce. Bend the knees, roll yourself up. Mountain pose, just hands behind the back. Weight in the right foot. Focus your eyes down and lift your left knee. One leg in mountain. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale, straighten the left leg or kind of straighten it. Exhale, mountain pose. Sit low, chair pose. Hands are still behind the back. Half chair, belly on the thighs. Think about the hips reaching towards the back of the mat, just like your hands. Your chest is parallel to the ground. Your neck is long. Take one more breath. And then stand yourself all the way up. Mountain pose, hands back. One leg and mountain, right knee lifts. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Start to straighten the right leg. Stay here. See what happens. And then right foot to the mat. Go ahead and release that strap. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, dive over the leg. Inhale, up. Plant the palms, step back to plank. Pushing through those heels, reaching the crown of the head forward, drawing the shoulders back. Take one more breath, and you lift the body away from the floor. Inhale, shift the body away forward. Exhale, drop down to the knees, bend the elbows by the ribs, chaturanga, stay here. Push back up to straight arms. And then let your chaturanga take you all the way to the belly. Slide the forearms forward. Your arms make the shape of an 11. So your inner forearms are parallel to each other. Your toes are now untucked. Push into the forearms, lift the chest. Sphinx pose, really gentle back in here. Take a deep breath in. Breath out, forehead to the mat. Hands slide by the ribs, squeeze the elbows into the body. Tuck the toes, push up to plank, push back to down dog. Once again, you can move around here. And from now on, any time you're down dog, anything goes. So if you need to kick, if you need to bend the elbows, if you need to drop to child's pose, whatever it 
is you do you. Take one more breath here. And then we'll walk to the back of the mat like we did earlier. Hands on the shins, inhale, half foot. Exhale, fold, this time straight back, reach out, reach up, mountain pose. Then we bring the arms by the sides. Chair pose, sit low, this time reach high. Your palms are facing each other. Belly pulls in towards the spine. Weight in the left foot, lift the right foot. One legged mountain. Inhale, straighten the right leg forward. This time, big step forward, crescent lunge. Back knee is off the ground, back heel is off the ground. Think about the thighs scissoring towards each other. One more inhale here. And then exhale, head forward, arms back. This time, no strap. Turn the thumbs away from you. Squeeze your pinky fingers as close together as possible. And then early warrior three. If you feel like you need that block, make sure it's at the highest height in front of your mat. And then slide yourself forward. Left hip faces the ground, left leg is strong, right knee could be bent. Take one more breath here. And then mountain pose, reach up, look up. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, half lift. Step back to plank. We'll go through one more slow vinyasa together. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, drop to the knees if you need to, chaturanga. Push back up, plank. Go through chaturanga all the way to the belly. This time, keep your hands by your ribs. Untuck the toes, inhale, either high cobra, maybe almost straighten the arms, or up dog, straight arms, hips off the ground, thighs off the ground. And then make your way to down dog however you want to. Once you get a couple of breaths to just wiggle it out, shake it out and out of the pose. And when you're ready to once again, you walk back. So finding that balance, that equilibrium in the body. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Push the feet, reach up, look up. Chair pose, sit low, arms high. Once again, turn the belly on. Get the eyes focused so that you can lift the left leg off the mat, finding your one leg. And then extending the left leg forward to step it forward, cross it, and the left side. We have a full round of breath here. Back leg is long, front leg is at 90 or close to it. And then we head forward, arms back. Airplane those arms again. Turning the thumbs away from the body, pulling the shoulders away from the ears. We slide forward to warrior three. Remember the block might be helpful to you, especially if you're newer to yoga or you feel off balance today. Standing at the top of the mat, reach up the back. Exhale, dive over the legs. Inhale, half up. Now you get to go through any vinyasa that you want to. If you like the versions we did before, maybe stick with them. If you want to just take it straight from chaturanga into your back bend, go for it. This time from down dog, sit the legs together. Lift the heels high, look between the thumbs, bend the knees, and then step or push with your hands and the leg hop forward. Inhale, half up. Exhale, fold. Reach up, look up. Coming into more balance, hands to prayer at the heart. Weight in the right leg, lift the left leg. Open the left knee out to the left and find your tree pose. And you might want to use your left hand to bring your leg to your thigh, your calf, or your ankle. Once you get the leg set, bring the hand back to the other for prayer. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Pushing the leg and foot towards each other. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Bring that left knee back into the center. Reach the arms up and start to push the left foot back. You may want to bend the right knee. Coming through into that warrior three a different way this time. One breath in. Breath out. Bend the right knee. Left foot steps back. High lunge. Exhale. Bend the left knee. Cactus the elbows. Low lunge. Hands come to the mat, pull the left hip back over the left knee, slide the right foot forward. These are our half splits. If you have space to go deeper, slide that right foot forward. We'll stay in a half lift today, pulling that right finger back, pulling that left hip forward. Take one more breath. And then weight comes forward. Left hip to the mat, 
left knee off the mat, sweep the right arm up. Easy twist. Working balance in a different way. Squeeze the thighs towards each other. Start to lift the left hand off the mat, off the mat, off the mat. Coming into your archer's lunge. Lunge with your arms in a T. Take one more breath here. And then wiggle your body around the warrior two. Drop your left heel. Right knee is bent. Reach the right arm long. Reach the left arm long. Take an inhale to reverse your warrior. Reach back, reach back, reach back. Exhale, side angle. Reach forward. One more like that. Keep the left foot just as brown and as strong as the right. And we'll stay in this side angle. You may want to take the right hand down towards the block that maybe is resting inside of your right foot or towards the floor. And wherever you are, you're dropping that left heel. You're peeling the left ribs up. Take one more breath here. And then bring yourself around. Turn your right toes to face the long side of the mat, folding over the legs. Just one breath here. You have the knees bent. You could be wiggling the hips. And then lift yourself halfway up. Just turn your heels in, your toes out. Bring your hands to prayer for your guide squat. So again, balancing a lot of ways today. Lift the heels off the ground. Gently, slowly press into the feet and straighten the legs. It's a process. You don't have to get there immediately. And then lower the heels to the mat. Reach the arms up. Start pose. Maybe lift the chin up. And then come on back one more time. Got to squat. Keep the hips low. Lift the heels. And then start to straighten the legs. Lift the hips up, up, up. Maybe reach up. And then coming back, warrior two in front of the mat. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, easy twist. Left hand down, right arm up. Your left heel is off the mat. From here, you can stay. Or you can come to the pinky edge of the left foot, stack the right foot for side plank. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Can you lift the hips higher? One more round. Inhale. Exhale, plank. Your vinyasa, your leg. You don't have to get to down dog at any specific time. You get there when you get there. And once again, we'll zip the legs together. Lift the heels, bend the knees, step or float to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Long back and legs, lift your body up. And then arms side to sides. Okay. Hands to prayer. We'll set up that tree pulse with the right leg to the lift off the ground. Again, you could be at the ankle, the calf, or the thigh. We're just avoiding the knee. Equal pressure between foot and leg. Find your breath. Slowly pull the foot off of the leg. Bring the right knee forward. Reach the arms up. Feel that your belly is really supporting you as you slowly push the right foot back. You slowly bring your chest parallel to the ground, warrior three. Bend the left knee, set the right foot way back, high ledge. Drop the back knee, bend the elbows, lift the heart, gentle low ledge. Exhale, hands to the mat, half splits again, or deeper. Keeping that half lift in the body so there's space between your chest and your leg. You're really just letting the back of that left leg get that nice deep opening. Take one more breath here. And then slide your weight forward, right hand down, right heel up, left arm to the ceiling. Squeeze the thighs together. Easy twist turns into archer's lunge. Right arm reaches to the front, left arm reaches back. You decide where you look. And then we'll peel open, drop the right heel, warrior two, wide and long. Inhale, reach back, reverse forward. Exhale, side angle, reach forward. We have one more round, and then we stay in side angle. Again, you might use your block under the left hand, rotating your ribs up, pushing the right heel down, down, down. Take one more breath here. And then lifting yourself up. Turn your left toes forward. Find that wide-legged forward fold. Different version this time. Stay in wide-legged forward fold. Bend your knees a lot. Take your hands around the outsides of the legs. It could be 
more of the shin bone, more of the ankle. Bend the elbows wide and drop the head. Start to tip the weight forward and lift the hips. Cross the feet up, Padottanasana. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. And then slowly bend the knees and roll yourself all the way up. We'll meet back in Mountain Warrior Two. Bring the right hand inside the left foot, left hand to the ceiling. Easy twist on the second side. Open your body out to side plank if you'd like to. Left side of the body is on top, right on bottom. Breath in, breath out, breath in. Exhale, find your plank, go through your flow. And this time when you get to down dog, we'll take a pause about five to six breaths. You may want to come into a child's pose. You may want to get some water, so whatever you need. Yogis, we'll take one more breath here. Whatever you're doing, making sure it's what you want to be doing. All right, we'll come back to down dog if you're elsewhere. Lift the hips, lift the knees, bringing those legs together. Heels come high, knees bend, look between the thumbs, step or float. Inhale up. Exhale fold. Push your feet all the way up. Palms touch, hands come to heart center. And before we go into a second round of back sun V, of back flow, just take a moment to shake yourself out, maybe jump around. And we'll add on to that flow. Feet are parallel, sitting into that chair pose to start. If your legs are like mine or your distance apart, go ahead and bring them all the way together. Sit a little bit deeper, bring the hands to prayer. We'll take our chair twist first with the left elbow, diving outside of the right thigh. Before you settle into twist, see that your knees are even, and then open your chest up. Breath in. Breath out. Breath in. Breath out. Come back to center. And then same thing, other side, twisting it to the left. Peek at the knees, and then lift that elbow up. Full breath in. Full breath out. Full breath in. Full breath out. Come back to center. Arms up, sit the hips, low, 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 and then come all the way down, full pose. Knees lift, feet can be flexed or pointed, chest is broad and long. Take an inhale and straighten your legs to see what happens. Take an exhale to bend your knees. Really small movement. Inhale, straighten the legs. Exhale, bend the knees one more time. Inhale, straighten the legs. Exhale, bend the knees. And then hug the knees to the chest, drop the chin. Take a breath in. Breath out, straighten your thighs next to your belly and roll back. And then roll forward. And see if you can find your balance. And it may take a couple of tries coming back to that tight ball. And we'll meet in our bow pose again. This time, make a fist, interlace the fingers, twist to the right, tap your left toes down and up, come back to center. Twist to the left, right toes down, up. Hands to center, one more each side, right? Left leg, center, left, right leg, center. Come back, stay for three, two, one. Knees to chest, hug yourself once again. Find those rocks. Maybe there's two, three, four, five. Whatever you're ready to do, come back to that balance. And then cross the shin to make your way into your foot. Taking the time you need to get to down dog. This time you get the right leg lifts. Three-legged dog. Keep everything the same. Roll the shoulders over. 
over the wrist. Pause here. Bend the right knee to the left elbow, and then take it back. If it's half the floor or not, bend the right knee to the left elbow, push it back to plank. One more time. Exhale. And inhale, three-legged dog, lift it up. Bend the knee over the hip, and then step the foot to the mat. Left leg, same deal, lift it up. Roll forward to plank. Left knee, right elbow, stay in plank. Push the foot back. Left knee, right elbow. Push it back. One more time. Exhale. Inhale, three leg dog. Take the foot to the mat. Right leg lifts. This time, step through warrior one. Maybe wipe that left foot. Drop the left heel until it's flat. And then lift your body up. You may want to slide your right foot a little more forward. Keep pushing down to the outer edge of that left heel. Spring your chest towards the front of the mat. Then the elbows wide, lift the heart, pull the shoulder blades together. And then you can either stay here or reach your arms back and find a clasp. Take an inhale here. And then exhale, hands to prayer. Find a diagonal line in your body. Lift your left heel. We're coming into a pose called toppling tree. It's not quite standing splits. It's not quite warrior three. First, though, slide into warrior three. Tip the chest and belly down, maybe an inch to five or six inches. Your left leg should lift up to the same degree. If you feel super wobbly, bend your right knee. Take one more breath. And then step the left foot back, high lunge. Open out from here, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, we'll come into half moon. That kind of side version of warrior three. This might be where you want your block again in front of your mat. Left hand on the hip, start to slide forward. Push into the right foot, lift up with the left foot. Really activate through the glutes, really push through the lifted foot. Take one more breath. And then bend that left knee towards you. Take the left hand to the left shin or ankle, and then we're going to just push the knee back. So instead of it being in front of the body, it's right in line with the hip. Take one more breath. And then gently let go, warrior two. Parallel the feet, reach up, look up. Exhale, warrior two, to the back of the mat. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, triangle pose, hips go back. Left arm reaches out and then down towards the left leg. Again, this is a pose where you could be using a block if you so chose. Stacking the shoulders and arms. Opening up through that right side. Take one more breath. Come back to warrior two. Parallel feet. Warrior two in front of the mat. We're back to that normal facing. Windmill the hands. Easy twist. Left hand down. Right arm up. Again, you can stay or side plank. This time, if you're side planking, pull the right knee in and rest the right foot on the thigh or the calf. One more breath. Come on back to plank. Go through your foot. All right. We won't do that little kind of core interlude. We'll go right into the left leg, lifting up. To step us into warrior one. Again, you may want to slide your right foot off to the right. Pull your right heel more towards the center of the mat and then lift your torso up. Before you get into the back, then make sure your legs feel solid. If it's too wobbly, go wider with the feet. Left to the left, right foot to the right. Then start to bend the elbows, lift the heart. You can stay here or find the clasp. Go fully get up. Take a breath in. Breath out, come out of this. Setting up for toppling tree. Lift the right heel. Bring the body weight forward. Warrior three first. And then chest goes down a little bit. Right leg goes up to the same degree. Take one more breath. And then bend the left knee. Step the right foot back, high lunge. Open out, warrior two. Left leg is forward. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, half moon. Again, you are more than welcome to use the block or the water ball. Right hand to the hip, coming forward. In this balance, we want the chest to be facing the side wall, not the floor. Push 
push out through the right heel, and then start to slowly bend the right knee in, grab a hold of the ankle or shin, then kick the knee back right behind the hip. This pose is called Shavakasana. Take one more breath. Gently release, let it go, warrior two in front of the mat. Parallel the feet, reach up, look up. Warrior two back of the mat. So now we have that right leg forward. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Exhale, triangle pose. Again, you're welcome to find that block. Put it under the right hand and settle in. Hips are back. Spine is long, waist is long. Take one more breath here. And then bring yourself on up. Warrior two, back of the mat. Parallel the feet. Warrior two, front of the mat. Wind with your right hand down, left arm up. Easy twist to stay or easy twist to cycle. Again, if you're cycling, you tree pose version. Tree pose is the top leg. Take one more breath. And then bring everything back through plank. Go through your vinyasa. Once again, we're at that place where you get to decide what feels good to you, what you need, what you don't need. And if you're coming into a rest, you're really letting the body settle in, settle down. And maybe you come back to that place where you're noticing how your body feels, or how your breath is, or where your mind's at. Observing rather than doing. Shape. Hips high, hands and feet on the mat. Sweep the right leg up. This time, bend the knee, open the hip. And then step the right foot outside the right hand. Lizard pose. We're going to take balance in kind of a fun and healthy way on the legs rather than on the hands. Start to take this right arm underneath the right knee. Once you find that place, take the right hand outside of the right foot. Both of your palms are flat. You could maybe do a couple of really small, small push-ups here. And then just hold it. If this feels like a lot of weight, a lot of challenge for your body, you can drop the back knee to the mat because we are going to come off of the hands. So think about pulling the belly in. Think about lifting the hips up and the back thigh. And then take the right arm more to the right. I'm on my fingertips. Take the left arm more to the left. I'm on my fingertips. And then see about lifting the right arm. See about lifting the left arm. Lizard with these fun airplane arms. Take one more breath. And then bring both hands inside of the right foot. Lower the left knee for the stretch that Lizard can provide. So maybe coming down to those elbows. Maybe rocking through those hips. Opening up the right knee. And then we'll go right on into our half pigeon. So slithering that right foot over to the left side of the mat, coming to the pinky edge of the right foot. And today, before we settle into the stretch, we'll do a little bit of strength work. We're on the fingertips still. Inhale to lift the right knee off the mat. We're literally just lifting it vertically. And then exhale, take it down. Two more. Inhale. It's a very small lift. I'm lifting my knee maybe two to three inches. One more time. Inhale, lift that knee. Exhale, lower it down. And then settle into the fold. As always, if this pose gives you trouble, if it's painful, you're on your back on figure four. We have four deep breaths. Slowly start to walk up. If you happen to be in figure four, you're going to meet us in a seat. Soles of these together, knees wide, arms forward, and we'll roll down. Coming to a little bit more forward. Knees are wide, elbows are wide, hands are behind the head. Think about pulling the low back to the ground. 
kind of pulling the belly button down towards the spine. Take an inhale here. And then exhale, lift the legs, lift the arms, try to tuck the knees and elbows. And then come right back to the floor. Exhale, crunch it in, round it up. Inhale, take it to the floor. Last time, exhale, lift it up. Hold here for three, for two, for one. Take it down, stretch the body long, toes forward, fingers back. When you're ready to hug the knees in, start to rock and roll. As always, as many times as you want, when you're done with it, cross your shins, move through your big house. Okay, left side, leg lifts, bend the knee, open the hip, just feel what that nice stretch looks like in the groin, keep drawing that armpit square towards the floor, and then step the left foot out to the left hand. Back knee is up unless it feels like too much, we're lifting the pubic bone, we're lifting the belly button, slide the left elbow underneath the left knee and plant the left palm outside of the left foot. Again, maybe you take a couple of bends of the elbows, but you keep squeezing that left knee towards the center of the mat. You keep squeezing that right inner thigh up towards the ceiling. And then wiggle your left fingertips to the left. Wiggle your right fingertips to the right. If this feels like too much, you're on your right knee, and then see about lifting the arms up. Take a deep breath in. Breath out, come out of it. Hold hands inside of the left foot, for all of us right knee on the mat, take a moment here. And then slide that left foot to the right side of the mat. Left knee is out to the left. Before you fold again, we'll take those three small bits of strength work. Inhale, lift the left knee up. Exhale, take it down. Inhale, lift the left knee up. Exhale, take it down. One more time. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, take it down, and again, settling into either this half pigeon shape or supine figure four. Letting yourself relax for four breaths. Start to lift yourself up. Once again, we'll meet in a seat. And this time, planting the feet so that the toes point forward, and planting the hands under the shoulders so that the fingers point forward. Inhale, lift the hips off the ground, open through the chest, drop the head back, maybe. And then exhale, come on down. We'll do that one more time. Reverse tabletop, pushing the hands and feet, lift the body, activate the legs. And then lower down. Last thing in the class, maybe slow it on down. And then we'll come on through to a seat. So whether you walk it through or hop it through, you'll want to locate that yoga strap again. And we'll meet on our backs. Coming into bridge, two rounds of bridge first, and then we'll come into some leg opening. Arms by the sides, big toes and inside of the knees are parallel. Inhale, peel the spine up. We'll stay here and exit today, lift the arms up, palm stays in. Take a deep, full inhale. Full exhale. Full inhale. Exhale, slowly lower your hips and your arms. Pause at the bottom and try your best to be still for a moment. And one more round of bridge. And heel, hips first, peel it up. Arms second, lifting up. This time you can lift straight up to the ceiling or bring the arms all the way behind you. Take a breath in. Breath out. Breath in. Breath out, lower everything down. Arms by the sides, hips down. Again, take a moment just to pause in stillness. And then bring the knees wider than the ribs, arms on the shins, and start to rock here. 
So it's almost happy daily, except the shins are not parallel, or not to be perpendicular, but parallel to the thighs. And then from here, bring that left leg down, and we'll wrap that strap, strap with the right foot. Hands to big toe pose with that lovely assist of the strap. And then bring the strap in the right hand, open the leg to the right and left, arm to the left. And then exhale, bring the strap to the left hand, full twist. We'll stay here longer than the other two, three breaths. Maybe return to look right. Come on to your back. Left foot in the strap, right leg long. Open the leg to the left. Come back to center. Final twist, three breaths. Come on to your back. We'll finish up here with happy baby in the strap. Feet are wider than the hips, and then you can start to just wrap and roll. You also might want to take some really big fluttery exhales. And then releasing that strap, bringing the soles of the feet together on the floor, knees open wide, arms by the sides, palms up. Bring one hand to the belly and one hand to the heart. Maybe letting the eyes get heavy. Take a full breath in, fill up. Full breath out, let go. And then you can choose to stay here as your final resting pose or to straighten the arms and legs. Whatever your corpse pose variation is, let yourself relax into that shape to let go, to drop in. We'll take about a minute or so here. We'll stay in the pose and I'll just let you know when it's time to come out. Slowly start to bring some movement back into your body. And you'll let that movement get bigger and bigger as it travels through as you start to bring yourself back into your space. Maybe you want to stretch long for a moment before you roll onto your right or your left hip. And then from there, bringing yourself into a comfortable seat, sitting up really tall. Arms can rest. Palms down or palms up once you find your seat. And we'll finish up today with two rounds of breath, maybe dropping the chin down, maybe bringing the hands to prayer. Take a full breath in, full breath out. One more time, big breath in, big breath out. Light and teacher in me. Season honors the light and teacher in you. Hope you have a good rest of the